New level for the Electro Titan with the recent update in Clash of Clans. Thank you very much. Let's test it out with an amazing attack strategy. We're going to watch some replays in just a moment. But first of all, here's the army. Six Electro Titans, six Root Riders, Michael the Minion, and one Headhunter Spells, one Earthquake, seven Lightning, a Freeze, an Overgrowth, a Rage, and a Poison Spell. Clan Castle Troops is up to you. Couple of Yeti, some Sneaky Goblins, or some Valkyries inside. Max level Siege Barracks is a great combination. Six Electro Titans and six Root Riders. So here we go, guys. This was filmed in the developer build, by the way. I wanted to get some attack strategies ready for you. So first stage of the attack, Earthquake and Seven Lightnings to take out high-value targets. Just scout the base, have a look where you're going to get the most value. Obviously, Eagle Artillery, Monolith, Scatter Shots, things like that are the targets you want to prioritize. Then on this base, we're just going for a marvelous spam attack. Siege Barracks, I would use... I didn't used to like using Siege Barracks, but with the new max level Siege Barracks, if you can get it, you get nearly 100 housing space worth of troops. That's absolutely amazing, guys. So if you can use max level Siege Barracks, I would say that. If not, the Log Launcher or the Battle Blimp try and take out the Town Hall directly. Then, as you can see, a beautiful spam attack. What I want to do with that Overgrowth spell is try and neutralize the Town Hall area. There we go. To neutralize as many defenses as possible. And it seems a bit strange because you're telling your troops to go away from the Town Hall. But as they're clearing up around it, think how much damage you're saving those troops for nearly 30 seconds. It's loads, guys. And they will get back to the Town Hall later. Don't worry. As we mentioned, a new level on the Electro Titans makes them more powerful, more health. And talking about powerful, there he is. Michael the Minion, the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans. Damage per second, 73 billion. Yes, guys. Anyway, how are we doing on the battlefield? Hero equipment, let's talk about that quickly as well. For the king, I think Earthquake Boots or Giant Gauntlet with the Rage Vial. I like both of those combinations. The queen, I really like the Healer Puppet and Giant Arrow. Using it straight away, you get three healers and the Giant Arrow does loads of damage. Or Frozen Arrow and Invisibility Vial. For the Grand Warden, I'd always go Eternal Tome and Healing Tome. And for the Rule Champion, I like the Shield and Hog Rider Puppet. A bit different, guys, but I really do like it. So here we go. We're going to take out that nasty army camp for three stars. Beautiful. And we do have another replay in just a moment. And guys, if you're new to the channel, by the way, hello. And what I try and do here is find you nice, easy to use spam attacks for the casual player. So if that does interest you, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus Army for more videos like this. And guys, when you have finished watching, remember to like the video if you've enjoyed it. That would be amazing. So same again. Siege Barracks on one side. That's one side of our funnel. Two peckers there. Awesome. On the left hand side, we sent in the king to help out, to help funnel there then in the center the rest of the army apart from the royal champion i've used the queen ability straight away i would suggest that if you've got healer puppet and the giant arrow you want those healers helping out the army straight away guys obviously try and line up the queen to do maximum damage through the base again we've used the overgrowth spell to neutralize the town hall area we're doing okay the king on the left hand side there root riders on the right hand side with some healers and are we going to get three stars? Well, hopefully, guys, yes. As I mentioned, this was filmed in the developer build. I just wanted to get some attack strategies ready for you for when the update is actually out. And I know we've now got new levels on the Battle Builder, Monolith, and Eagle Artillery, but I still think Town Hall 16 is pretty easy. Now, I know I say that with max level heroes, hero equipment, and pets, which I know a lot of you probably haven't got, guys. But I think overall, this is a max Town Hall 16 base. I didn't really have any issues three-starring it. I think it's still a challenge. I think Clash of Clans is in a great place for the casual player. And it still felt really good when I managed to get three stars. So what I'm trying to say is I think it's a lot easier than Town Hall 15 was. But I think it's in a good place. I really do enjoy getting three stars and these sort of spam attacks. They are definitely working still at the moment. So the Electro Titans walking around the base. Michael the Minion is somewhere on the battlefield. I don't know where. We've got a Tesla farm on the right-hand side. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Remember, on this channel, we do have something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code. Our code is code Moose. Any support would be amazing, and you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, have fun. Hope you enjoy using this army. The army copy link's in the video description. Remember to subscribe, like the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Bye.